Hi everybody, it's your boy Nesto and I would like to show you today my Berserker Zilla build in Dark Type. I've been trying different combinations with Zilla as a frontline warrior and they both felt a bit lacking feeling of frenzy or provide that high octane gameplay during mission. This build has high mobility, high attack speed, extremely fast cooldowns and survivability in one package. Now without further ado, let's go over the skill tree and load up for this build. Now at the very beginning, we're gonna grab this Dane. This is gonna increase 5% of your next melee attack for each enemy hit. This stack five times, so it's gonna be 25%. Then we're gonna grab all the passive knots that we have here on the right side. And then we're gonna grab emulation grenade. Now, so you're gonna be in the front line dealing with the horde waves. Sometimes the wave might be too dense and that's where the emulation grenade comes clutch because you can throw it on the floor and pretty much start milling and combine the damage of your melee attack with the burn that the emulation grenade provides. So then we're gonna continue further down to grab Shiva Content. This is like mandatory for any Zilla build that you do in Dark Tide to increase our damage mitigation. But this time we're gonna have Beacon of Purity. Beacon of Purity can be helpful to hold some of the corruption build up during the mission. As an example, when you grab scriptures, dealing with certain bosses that leave you with tons of corruption on you, keep in mind that this doesn't reduce the corruption after getting off for a knockdown. So, so if you loot wounds, you're gonna continue having that wound until you go to the next health station. Then we're gonna have Free of the Faithful. This is gonna replenish our toughness, gain attack speed, and increase our critical hit up to 25%. We also gonna grab Redouble Zeal, which is gonna grant you an additional charge. And then at the very bottom, we're gonna grab Inertial Judgment. This is gonna increase your melee attack speed, range attack speed, and damage up to 20% and last eight seconds. So this is synergizing very well with Fear of the Faithful. So you have an insane amount of attack speed with this build and you're gonna be feeling frenzy the whole time. We're also gonna have this Keystone Modifier to gain stuff where we're dodging. And then we're gonna grab Swift Certainty. This is gonna increase our movement speed by 10% and also it's gonna count as dodging while sprinting. This is gonna help us to pretty much notice when you are getting shot by some ranged NPCs when you kind of run in an angle you dodge some of the bullets coming at you so this is gonna help you to get closer to those NPCs that are quite annoying like you see in the footage and and pretty much get the kill now this is not a crit build but I know that with the insane amount of attack speed that we have in this build I noticed that there's a lot of crit going on so it's gonna help us to get our furry faithful faster we also gonna grab Marine Purpose since you're gonna be dealing with a lot of wave, you're gonna get hit constantly, and this is gonna translate with cooldown reduction. Keep in mind that we have, we have high replenishment with our toughness, and pretty much we kind of tanky. You get constantly gonna get damage, but also recover at the same time. So you are always gonna get your ability really, really fast when you combine these two together. Now this is optional. I have phase of fortitude just to grant. Two extra wounds and then i don't have to feel like i have to spend one of the cures into wound now speaking with the lot we're gonna start with eviscerator i tried the antax axe it also worked with this build but the eviscerator i felt like i had the most fun with and it's actually quite good as well one of the top tier weapons in the game at the moment you want to make sure that you have momentum with it and shred it okay those are the two in my opinion best blessings for this weapon in terms of the perks i'm kind of undecided but I feel like at least on your enemies is kind of mandatory and then you can decide all the perks that you want to try with this weapon. Now as for the secondary weapon we're gonna use the heavy last pistol. I love this thing. This thing not only has an insane amount of ammo capacity, a big max size but also high damage. I tried the shotgun but the shotgun doesn't really aim with the main problem of the main melee which is targeting range NPCs. And the revolver does have high damage and it's fun, but I kept getting into a situation where I was pulling my pistol out and then I had to reload, putting me in a very aggro situation. And then for our cures, we're gonna have at least one with 20 max health. You want to have on the person max health, tougher duration, and then somewhere else, and then something else of your liking. And then for the last two cures, I have toughness as a marine blazing and tough duration speed, max health, and toughness. You can also opt to have damage resistance against gunners because sometimes there's a lot of stacked NPCs, gunner NPCs in the map and they start shooting at you and they, you can kind of mitigate that damage that is coming at you. Alright guys, so this is the build. I'm going to leave you with some gameplay. Consider subscribing if you want to see more Dark Type build videos. 
and also drop a like if you have any question or suggestion for this video make sure to comment in the section below and i'll see you in the next one enjoy the gameplay video guys peace all right we got the classic squad we got psyker veteran ogren and a uh, dealer You, you're gonna notice through the course of this mission, I'm gonna have my cooldown super quick. I'm already have another one now. And the good thing about the last bit is just the ammo capacity in the range. It's quite nice, so when you don't want to deal with things like this, you can just, you know, burn it down with no problem. I was using the revolver, but the revolver. In some situations that I really needed to shoot something, sometimes I forgot to reload and yeah. Oh my god! It put me in a very awkward situation and then I tried the shotgun and the problem with the shotgun is like doesn't re doesn't solve the problem with being a main mini build, which is uh, getting mauled down by the gunners or the range enemies. I'm a father. You can also take a break. You don't want to do melee. You can shoot with the last pistol. You should be able to do damage as well. So that's good. Oh, sniper. I'm going to go out there in a second. Where is it? Somewhere around here, I think. Where is it? Oh, he died or something? Let me go back. Oh my god. I think we have a big wave here. Yep.
With a sniper, the sniper. I don't know where the sniper is. Did he die? Oh, he, he didn't. Okay, I got him. Nice. I almost died there because of that stupid sniper. Oh my god. Oh my god! Uh, I'm not in a position for this. Nah, leave me alone. Why me? Ah! Oh, we have a. No, no, no. No! Oh, at least they're on the, on the fire. They're gonna die. Do you not see me here in need? Thank you, sir. The stupid crabber. Alright. Oh my god. See, that's why you don't. That's why shotgun is not that good. This thing is like just amazing. It just synergizes so well. Uh, so it covers you in that department. You when you don't want to deal with rotten, rotten like that, then. No. I need to get out of here. to do the objective there.
Try to hold as much as I could. The thing about the, the bomb grenade, the grenade launcher of the... I don't know which one are, like, dead. So I have to kind of double check the bodies on the floor. Hello, guys. No, I'm gonna die. Get me! Ah! No! We both did. Oh my god! No, oh, yeah, we don't put that. Start milling. No! Are you kidding me? You gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. Oh. Thank you, sir. That was funny, though. They're coming. Because of my group, so they can cover me. Okay, the bag is clear. Now we need. fun though all right guys i hope you enjoyed the build make sure to subscribe leave a like and also drop a comment in the section below if you have any thoughts or question about this build uh it's not a typical meta build but for me it does the job and it's the one that provides the most fun when it comes to going all full melee so thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next one peace